I asked you in the past, you know, how do you describe yourself po politically? I, I, my, your answer was a constitutional conservative, not libertarian, but... but I, I think libertarian conservative, constitutional conservative, I think they mean the same thing, <laughs> that we believe in very limited government. We're sort of the leave me alone coalition. These mm -hmm. kids want to be leave, left alone. They want to believe that what they say on their cell phone is none of the government's damn business. Yeah, no, I agree with that too. And all right, so if you become the president of the United States, how would Rand Paul balance the budget? We'd cut spending. Absolutely, you have to cut spending across the board. I'm a big fan of the penny plan. Cut 1% across the board, your budget balances in about five years. Yeah. All right, so you do that. That means Medicare, Social Security, defense, everything. Yeah, and the thing is, is that you don't have to be 1% of everything if you're 2% of something else. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I introduced a budget that would balance in five years, but actually spent above the military sequester. So you can say that, well, defending the country is a priority, mm -hmm. but we'll cut 10% of something, or like in this case, I would cut 100% of corporate welfare, mm -hmm. every last bit of it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about uh, the, the top five things. If you're elected president, you guys want an elected president? Yeah. the top five agenda item. President Paul! <laughs> President Paul! President Paul! President Paul! Okay. President Paul! All right, all right. President Paul! President top five Paul, agenda item. President Paul! I think the, I think the number... <laughs> I think... I think the number one priority of the federal government always has to be defend the, defend the country from foreign attack. We have to be, defend our country. So one thing you can't do in Illinois or Wisconsin, you've got to have a national defense. So we defend the country. Mm -hmm. But I think you can't defend the country from bankruptcy court. So really part of defending the country is you can't be insolvent. You can't borrow a million dollars a minute. Admiral Mullen said this, number one threat to our national security is this enormous burden of debt. Mm -hmm. But it's also the number one threat to these kids getting a job. Some economists say that a million jobs a year are being lost from the burden of debt. Do we have an obligation to defeat ISIS? Look at what they're doing. Yeah, we have to defend our interests. We have to defend America. How? Well, the one thing I would say that's important in this, and this is what differentiates me from other Republicans, is I think that every time we've toppled a secular dictator, we've gotten chaos and the rise of radical Islam. It happened with Gaddafi. It could happen with Assad. It also happened with Hussein. Should we at least provide arms to the Kurds, arms to uh, and intelligence to Jordan and and uh, and Egypt? Yes, yeah. and I think we shouldn't have the arms stopping in Baghdad. The problem is, is that when they stop in Baghdad, the Shiite militias and Shiite army grab up the good arms, and there's not a left, enough left for the people who actually will fight, which is the Kurds. Yeah. All right. Now we have our rapid ra fire round, which we've been doing with everybody, and uh, just quick answers. Uh, abortion. I'm 100% pro-life. Uh, exceptions, rape, incest. I think it all. The whole decision and the whole discussion base is based on when when does life begin, and that's where the big battle is over people. When when does life begin? When life begins, and when we decide it begins, then it deserves to be. Prepared. Gay marriage. I'm old-fashioned. You know, I think marriage is between a man and a woman, but I'm also open to the sense that legally I don't think we should discriminate against people mm -hmm. and that if people want to have a contract with another adult, there's no reason why the law should discriminate and prevent them from having benefits or custody or seeing people in the hospital. All that stuff can be arranged through contracts through adult. Colorado, legalization, marijuana, good or bad idea? Yet to be determined, but I think freedom, for the most part, is a good thing. States' rights is a good thing. What about guns? Should every American citizen, if they're law-abiding, have the right to carry a weapon? Yes. Last question. We talk lately a lot about American exceptionalism. In 30 seconds, what, in your mind, makes America great and exceptional? We are exceptional because we chose liberty, we chose freedom, and out of that, great prosperity comes because the economic system of freedom is capitalism. We're the richest country ever known to the history of man. We're also the most humanitarian. So if you want to help people, you need to believe in freedom and capitalism. And you still give free uh, eye operations, I heard. Yep, I'm going to be going to Haiti this August. All right. All well, happy. As we wrap things up with Senator... Wrap things up here at Senator Rand Paul's event. Thank you.